Hey everybody, it's Tom, WA2IVD. Last month I had the opportunity to participate in a nighttime search and rescue drill. The drill was put on by our local Aries and Saturn emergency radio groups. This is an annual event that they typically plan in March. Around here in March it could be rainy or it could be cold or it could be both. And of course at night it's definitely going to be dark. And the reason they plan the drill like this is because all of those things might happen during an actual call-out event where you need to provide communications for some sort of an emergency. And it's a little better to try to learn to deal with those things in a controlled environment instead of during the real thing. Let's take a look at some highlights from the drill and then we'll have a little recap at the end. March search and rescue exercise. This is an exercise. Ten minute walk and then you can start your search. The next team I've got bad news for. Oh is Clarkson Trail. The green team. It is the green team. Yeah. It is a longer trail, but you don't have to walk as far to get there to get started. Okay, good news, man. Okay, you said Red Team is doing Dry Creek Trail? Red Team is doing the Dry Creek Trail. Okay. Now, I mentioned a minute ago down in the lower uh, right-hand corner, there's a yellow outline. That just happens to fall to the auspices of blue. Team. And it starts right there. It's gone 100 feet. How big are these grids apart? What's our grid space? At, uh, feet, last okay, a thousand feet. So you're going to have a pace course over here that's going to tell you what a hundred is. What we've got here is a mix. Those guys on trails, it's really a mix of trails. Everything from uh, what has been brushed hogged out to an actual Jeep trail to a trail that takes you down to the waterfall. If you're on the uh, a dry creek trail, you're going to get witness a waterfall. And there is a, it's a foot trail, but it's just plain narrow, then turns into a dry creek bed. So you've got a wide assortment. Uh, Clarkson Trail is all the Jeep trail, and, uh, almost all. And uh, over here is a mix of various types of open areas. Go ahead. Okay, so the Falcon Verbal Prop, tail Bravo. What's wrong with the tail number Bravo? Doesn't start with the right letter. Both three, and you uh, bounced out on us. Can you come back with the rest of that transmission, sir? Yeah, copy that. Northeast corner, KA2FNK, this is drill. Copy that, sir. Appreciate that. It's K0RSE. This is an exercise. Get that, John? I'm uh, Green team leader, net control. Green team, go ahead, please, sir. Yeah, we are entering the trail at uh, Tango 5, Tango 5. Copy that, entering the trail at Tango 5. Okay, uh, net control, blue team. This individual is down by the edge of the water. Coordinates are 38.8429. call. K0 and K, uh, net control. Net control, net control. K0 and K. Uh, sir, we've been advised we have another delivery for you. K0 RSE. This is a drill. Okay, yeah, it'll be some time, a few minutes before we can uh, get to it. So if there's an alternate plan, uh, you might execute it. Otherwise, we will get to it as soon as we can. Copy that. We've got two people staying with the person. And uh, we're just going to leave it the way it is at this point in time, sir. Case your RSE, this is an exercise. Net control, green team leader. Okay, you guys, okay. Green team, go ahead, sir. Okay. Now we've got our subjects on the backboard, and they're on their way back out to Tango 5. Hey guys, uh, when you're we'll on your stand way back. by where, well, we have part of the team where we found that subject, and we got the other part of the team on the backboard. And when we get all reunited again, we'll continue our search. My two uh, teammates that are with the uh, injured individual, they're going to start a small fire, pretty cold, 
so they're going to do that to keep them warm. Plus, they'll be able to see where they're at when help arrives uh, to pick them up, pick him up. Uh, this is a blue team in zero TK. This is a drill. Copy that, sir. Uh, you're going to start a small fire for body warmth for the injured party. K zero RSE. This is a drill. You just you want us to head south, correct? That's affirmative, sir. Please head south. Net control this is the blue team. Blue team, go ahead, sir. My team and myself are standing right behind you. At net control and zero T E K. This is a drill. The APRS worked pretty well. I was really surprised on the phones. Uh, we could see you guys most of the time. Uh, what else? What else? Being right outside of us, we, we just had a communication issue with battery or with you know not enough power, so that's why. Oh, we, okay. switch, we switched yeah, over to mine. That's some... that's why I, I started. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we were having trouble hearing you guys at some point. It's a little weird. So, yeah, we're quite worried about that. Of course, some of us also decided to turn towards. Yeah, right. Casey Zero BS, Trans County Aries March, rest, search and rescue drill. This is a drill. Well, that ended up being a pretty good drill, and I think everybody enjoyed themselves in spite of the chilly temperatures. The groups just had a debrief meeting this last week, and the general consensus was that the drill was a success and went pretty well. We did come up with a few ideas to improve it next time, but the goal of any practice event is always to try to see how you can improve yourself. If you're new to ham radio, or even if you've been in ham radio for a long time, but you haven't been involved with any kind of emergency communications, I would like to encourage you to consider signing up with a, an emergency communications group in your area. In the United States, the three main groups are ARES, which is the Amateur Radio Emergency Service. That's an arm of the ARRL. There's Saturn, which is the Salvation Army Team Emergency Radio Network, obviously part of the Salvation Army. And there's RACES, the Radio Amateur Civil Emergency Service. Now that last one isn't as commonly known by that name today as it used to be in the past, but most local governments that have any kind of volunteer auxiliary communication service usually use the RACES protocols for their training. I've got links to all of these in the description if you want to look up any of them. If you're outside of the United States, I know that the amateur radio organizations in many other countries also have something similar to uh, the ARIES in this country for doing emergency communication. So check with local radio clubs in your area or with your local ham radio organization and find out how you can volunteer. You'll meet some new people. It's definitely rewarding and you can usually have some fun as well. That's all I've got for this time. If you enjoyed this video or you found it useful, please consider clicking on the like button. If you find the channel useful, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe and click on that bell icon so you'll get notified when new videos come out. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Radio A to Z.